Mego is able now to be used across multiple platforms, and I'm going to show this to you in a second, across a broad range of Apple devices. And all of the things that we're going to show in the next few minutes all use Mego. So I want to show you a sample of those innovations. The first one is from Device VM. They're the worldwide leader on, in instant on computing, and their product's called Spla uh, Splash Top. They are re announcing it, Splash Top Mego Remix, which is an enhanced version for Atom platforms that already ships in millions of devices today, but it gives developers and, and users a great experience because it's an instant, quick boot technology. The next one, the next thing is the set of, here uh, behind me, of netbooks and net tops. Um, there's some, Ace, uh, some ASUS netbooks up here, some Russian netbooks, Russian net tops, all using Mego. Gemtech, headquartered in Taiwan, is the provider of wireless broadband solutions. They built this media phone. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think it's probably sleeping now or something. But anyway, this one is also, turns into a tablet, is also built um, using Mego. What I want to show you is the thing we've all been waiting for, is a new tablet that is going to be released to the market next week. And I'd like to introduce the CTO of 4242, 42, okay. Stefan Odefer, to come out and talk to us about his new Nego tablet. Good morning. Right. They can see it, so I'll let you go. So. We, we started this project about three years ago um, based on Ubuntu and former times and switched to Migo um, about a couple of months ago. So the reason why we switched to Migo was that we actually uh, have here at Migo a very optimized uh, operating system for tablets, especially for Atom-based architecture. It's a very you know, comprehensive, comprehensive operating system which, he, which we all are used to, but on the other hand, it's very lightweight. So, for example, we have a boot up time of only 16 seconds and we have a standby recovery time of one second. All thanks to Migo. So, I can, I can show it to you. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. So, let's stand by right now. And push it on again. There we go again. So, um, the, I can have a quick look for the, for the system so you can see. So it's, it's set on the Neo 1.0 framework, and we just adapted a special UI made for touch screens. So, for example, you can see here, we have the pin, what we call pin board. Every application, real time, from, with content from the net, or just a startup or application, is here on the desktop of the pin board. Of course, you could switch it like this. And if I go, for example, to a browser here, you have the same thumb navigation on the left side, because actually, you use the tablet like this and hold with both hands so you can steer the or navigate through the content without leaving um, the one hand. So, if you want to switch to another application, of course, it supports Flash. And it supports the next to Flash and it supports Adobe Air, of course, C based applications with Qt, GTK, Java applications, and also Android applications are supported on the WeTab. Fantastic. And this is going to be start shipping next week. Right. We are really excited about this since um, it's going to be the first chip tablet, of mego based tablet in the world. It's going to start next week on Tuesdays, the market entry in Germany. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've partnered with Amino to bring Migo to the first Migo TV effort to market. And I'll let you see the video and then we'll talk with Dominique. Intel and Amino are working together to create a new platform for smart television. The challenge I think we're seeing is taking the internet and making it work well on the television. The x 86 architecture of Intel allows those technologies to work better than ever before on television. It also allows a great ecosystem of applications and programs which we can now take and make it run on the TV. I think by not tying together the software and hardware, but putting a Migo open solution on top of our hardware, it's taken traditional development times of 18 months down to as fast as six months. 
with the uh, Sotheville and Zaton Coal, we can use a startup needle, and uh, that gives us access to the full Linux community with all these uh, available skills, software developers, and existing applications. This entire ecosystem has enabled us to go significantly quicker into creating a solution for the television based on the knowledge of the network. Together, we've created a product which has now shipped 50,000 units, which is a fantastic achievement. I'd like to welcome Dominic Lafol, the CTO of Amina, to the stage to show us what it looks like. What we are going to show you is actually a television system where we use Migo uh, to provide the capability to get secure televisions as well as applications and internet uh, television. Uh, due to the fact that we don't really like the light, the demo is going to be run by my friend Francis on the back. So uh, the TV side is uh, something that we cannot show here, we have been too far from the UK to receive our channels. Uh, but uh, we have downstairs if you want to play with the device a simulator. So the first thing we're going to see is uh, the media center to get a bit of music. And uh, we have, as you can see, a very fast and smooth animation capability. So we're going to get a little bit of a track sound first. So now that we have our music running, uh, we're going to look a little bit at our photos. And you can notice, uh, even on a big screen uh, with the Atom, we have a very nice uh, transition system. Uh, the photos are quite fast to come out, the transition are very sharp, and uh, you have the capability to enjoy with your family, directly on your TV, uh, this facility. But at the end of the day, TV is about TV, so we have recorded some video to show you how we are capable to play high definition encrypted content, which was really the challenge in that world. So we go to a few shows that we have recorded with our PDR feature, and we're going to uh, get to the BBC River program that are uh, particularly good. Um, so what you can notice here is that even using an open standard platform, we have a very smooth high definition video rendering on an encrypted video while respecting the openness of the platform, and that was really the challenge to create the facility. But, you know, a smart TV has to be smart, so we also added a lot of application, and that background coming from Migo is to provide access to this uh, big breadth of application. So that's just to give you an example of what we did. Now, this entire product was developed in six months with Migo, uh, which was really uh, the tough part of it. Uh, the first information is for tier 1 telecommunication operators and this new UI we show you is actually being done in 6 weeks uh, to be introduced at IBC and IDF. And this is a shipping product. And that is a shipping product today. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes.